Hello, this is Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro here with another Lightroom tutorial for you. Now, if you have seen my earlier video today, you would have seen how ISO, or ISO as I like to call it, affects your image quality from 100 to 200 to 400 to 800 to so on. Now, what we're going to show you today, or right now I should say, is how to clean that up. The tool we're going to use heavily is Luminance. We're going to focus very much so on that particular tool but we're gonna go over the entire image as you can see here it is very very grainy I went for the 6400 it's not the worst one but it's not the best one either um, so obviously a lot of details lost so what I like to do is before I even pull out the luminance tools I like to go to sharpen because I wanna pull in some of that detail first and it's gonna make the grain look terrible but there's this fancy tool here called masking Hold down your alt button, press, and slide it to the right. You're going to see your image starting to come back as a, a black and white uh, sketch. It's going to look a lot like. And you're going to find the masking area that looks best for you. Now, what it, what it means is the black area means it's not being sharpened. The white area means it's being sharpened. So you want to find a nice, happy spot where it's sharpening just what you want it to sharpen instead of the actual grain because, as you can see, there are splotches where the grain is actually being sharpened even with masking on. So we'll do it right there for right now and we'll adjust it later if we have to. And luminance, which is a beautiful tool, is we're gonna go here. And when you zoom out, it already looks way, way, way better. Just to show you, reset and boom you'll see it a lot in the cushion let's do it again set and then fast forward so there we go so now what I want to do is I want to go over some of these other things here like color I used to always put color to 100 because what it does is it tries to find those color splotches that ISO typically puts into your image and it'll get rid of it, turning it into a flatter, more film-like grain. But you gotta be careful because colors that are similar to the splotches may also try to get erased. If you look at the spider's eyes from Minecraft, as I put it to 100, his eyes turn gray. And that's not necessarily what we want. Uh, now you can put it here, but look at how much the ISO splotches have returned. Your Lightroom default is going to be 25, which clears up a lot of it. By default, it's pretty dang good, but, um, oop, I changed the wrong setting. By 25, which is the default for uh, Lightroom, it's pretty dang good. But if you want to up it, you may, or lower it, you may, but I wouldn't do it much because, see, it's turning his eyes way too gray for my comfort level. So we'll do that and then you can affect or you can change your smoothness if you want but when you do this make sure you zoom in or use this part right here see how the image changes when you use smoothness I like it more smooth just want to make sure you don't lose that detail but that's why we sharpen so heavily is so that way we wouldn't lose as much detail that brings just a lot of the ISO back I'm just gonna keep it pretty much where it was at see and then you can change your radius if you want to too but I like to keep that stuff at default because honestly Lightroom's pretty smart about all this so we go back and this already looks a lot cleaner so that's a quick way you can clean up your ISO grain and if you'd like like this video and comment whether you want to see the same exact tutorial but with people instead of a still life all right, that would be it for this tutorial. And as always, I am Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro, and as I always do, toodles.